I really spared the key. I spared this girl's life and I wasn't going to say nothing. For sure. I mean, at this point, listen, I've been, I've been being real peaceful, but it's, it's, it's time to just let shit out because. Key, I put an emoji and this bitch called me on my name and then wants to lie again. That's so embarrassing. Like, you're lying again. First of all, first of all, when did I call her broke? That's how you know I love you, bitch. You really got me on live. Like, y'all hopped out of bed for this bitch. This bitch said, get the She definitely up. did. I'm not gonna lie. I called her and she was booed up and she... That's why, bitch. Listen, that's, good. that's why you know we some real bitches because we was the ones beefing the most in the house and now look at us. Yeah. Because real recognize real and we not gonna, we not tolerating no fake shit. Nah, that's so now, happens. guess what? She asked for it, so now let's set the record straight. Are y'all ready or no? Because now this tea about, about to be hot. This no, we about to, to get hot. juicy because bitch want to talk shit, so let's talk shit. Cool. First of all, did I call the bitch broke? No, never once said she was broke. Not once. But if the shoe fits, wear it. You never said she wasn't broke, but you never said she was broke either. So if the shoe fits, wear it. This is true. What else did she say? Um, she said that oh, her reasoning for moving out was because of was because candy. candy. Mind you, the bitch told me she knew Candy was lying and wasn't paying attention to none of the shit. I fought Candy because she was lying on me and lived right down the street, and we helped the bitch move to Vegas. And wait, hold on, hold on, on sorry to cut you off. Up on Somebody just said she said she bailed you out of jail when you got arrested for prostitution. Look, there's no way that she could have bailed Bree out of jail. First, because she... pause. Google my name and see if I've ever been arrested for prostitution. <laughs> I'm not a prostitute, so how am I going to get arrested for prostitution when I'm not a prostitute? But how That's do you have saying. money? Let y'all say this shit about me selling pussy because you guys sound dumb as fuck, because I don't. I'm a stripper, period. Buy your life. Good night. Good night. <laughs> and I definitely bought her life one or two times. So the bitch need to give me her soul, because at this point, she owes it to me. Anyways, moving on. Never call the bitch broke, but if the shoe fits, wear it, because you are a broke bum bitch who couldn't even afford your $500 rent when you were living with me. I wasn't gonna say nothing, but since you wanna pull, since you wanna do shit, let's talk about it. Uh, my apartment was two thousand dollars a month. Two. Both bedrooms had bathrooms, Both. so it was like two masters. So if the rent is two thousand, that should be a thousand a piece. The bitch couldn't afford a thousand dollars a month because she wasn't doing shit unless I put her on to make money. So I was only charging her five hundred dollars a month for each. She couldn't even afford that. Yeah, I, I get the hold on, hold on, hold on. Than not. Bree, hold on. Don't go too fast because they got to sit on this. They got to take this in. So, y'all, pretty much what she's saying, right? Kiki needed to live. Okay, so this is why this is This is the right thing. Now. Kiki knew that after the show, she wasn't going to have a platform because nobody liked her ass. But, but hold on. Out hold on. Time, listen, not for nothing, no payback, not for no monetary nothing, not for no clout. I let the bitch move in with me. Mind you, I had my man living with me at the time. I didn't know the bitch was going to move in until the reunion when she had her whole suitcase packed talking about I'm coming back to Vegas with you. Right or wrong? But you, Do you right, not remember right. at the reunion where her suitcase is talking about I'm going back to Vegas? When she was coked oh, okay, up. okay, cool. So I didn't even know that. We were joking around. She's like, oh, I'm going to come to Vegas, da, da, da. I didn't know you was going to move in with me, bitch. But when you said you wanted to come, I let you. Period. But look, this is why this is important, guys, because for her to say she got paid to get beat up, we all got paid the same little change. It was That's why I said we got five hundred dollars a week not to do shit. If, if that, we beat a bitch up or not, we got the same check. Everybody got the same check and and, and keep it one hundred, like if we just gonna be real about it, production fucked with me the most. Like I got the most like can I did the most. Like if production was any in anybody ear, like I got that bitch lit and they didn't pay me anything extra. And bring Friend, that even when we were in Vegas, even when we were in Vegas, I tried to go home. I said I will but pay for you guys is, to ship my shit from LA to send it to Vegas. I'm not going back. If she made so much money, this is just the thing, right? And I'm not saying I'm just letting you guys do the math, right? If she got paid so much money, then why did she need to go stay with Bree after and then couldn't even hold not even half the you feel me? So a, a but of it. add that up. Add that up. She got paid so much more to get beat up, but then needed to go live with Bree once filming was over. Okay, go ahead, Bree. 
Then after the show, you weren't booking shit. She was not booking shit. I don't even like exposing people, but we're going to do it because we, she took it there. So let's be childish. No, let's do it. Because at this point, we're not speaking up on her no more. Because she only wants this because we're going viral right now. She feels left out. So after this. But it's just done. a disrespect after I took care of this bitch. That's why air out. Because out of everybody, you got the right to. Friend, she's talking child. about you got the video of the room. Did you, did I, I sent you the video, right? You saw it. Yeah. Trifling. And I'm gonna show y'all. Bree sent me that room. That room was disgusting as fuck. And I'm after I sent about... it to you after she left six years ago. And I'm not saying six that six years ago after she left. We're not talking about some loose clothes. We're talking about food, dirt, cigar guts, cigar guts. Legs. Like we're talking about disgusting, like nasty. Gross. Not left it junk. Trifling. She left her shit nasty. Nasty. And guess who had to pay to clean it up and didn't complain or try to. I didn't even ask her for no money to clean it up because I don't give a fuck, bitch. And, and this is my question. Shit. If production paid you to get beat up, that's cool, but they didn't pay you to be a nasty-ass bitch because she lucky production saved her. Because let, let's spill tea, right? Like during filming, when I hung her panties up on her picture, them was the nastiest panties I've ever seen. And, and her room smelled like those and panties production look. Felt her bad room for smelled her. like those panties look. So let's production talk about it. Production felt bad for her and didn't want oh, to embarrass her. Oh, you talking about you got a video in my room that's childish? No, bitch, your stink so, is childish. Yeah, them panties is childish. Them panties was giving real pull up. Your hygiene is childish. And I don't like the fact that them panties your was giving pull up. Your hygiene is childish. Them, I wasn't them. even gonna take it there, but since you want to go live and talk shit, let's take it there. Yeah, them we panties can. give a real pull up. It was to the point where production. Your panties so smelled like the room. Your panties looked like the room smelled. Them panties was giving. I'm a big kid now. <laughs> the panties were giving baby box vibes. <laughs> and it's just like so crazy. Like you really gonna talk shit about me, and I really raised you, bitch. <laughs> But listen, I can't, I can't, I can't even argue with a bitch that wear pull-ups. And you know what's sad? It's sad because with this Shay shit, I really thought we came together. You feel me? I did reach out to After her. After the Shayla's death, I really thought we was cool. But it's just like, I'm not going to lie. I might have started it by putting the blue cap under the under the thing. But you're not going to sit here and lie. No, like, you can't you start nothing. For her to go on there and say, like, all the girls I had issues with didn't give me no real pressure in real life. Why? No, would she you said that you guys were on her dick after the show. I, first Mind off, you, we I lived never, together. I, you I called me. Never listen, T. You. you called me, and I was like, "Look, did I not try to set a cool boundary between y'all? You guys and don't got to be friends, I but respect I said, each other." I'm not fuck you. I said I'm not fucking with it. And I tried. And you but, tried. And you but, you were, but you were, but you were sucking her dick. But I said I'm not fucking with her. I'll fuck with you, but I'm not fucking with her because I'm not fucking with her. Period. I can tell me and you had weird. Issues. You a real bitch. We had issues because we was filming the environment we was in. She just a weirdo. Like I just and it's just like you coming out of this out of no, like girl. I'm not about to say I'm gonna fight you. We don't have nothing to prove. Like it's giving me. I took two self defense classes. Now I'm feeling bad. Like that's what this is giving me. It's giving me. I'm skinny now, so I feel like you're still fat, skinny. You're still big, little. You give it back, what's your hands got to do with it? You didn't have hands then, so I guarantee you don't have hands now. Literally, I beat you up. I beat you up. He beat you up. Seven beat you up. Susan beat you up. It was never, and the hands was never a problem. It was the the weak ass ankles. Okay, just them ankles. That was the real problem. We never said you didn't have hands, bitch. We said you didn't have no ankles. Okay, that's what we said. Nobody said you had no hands. Bitch. I didn't say didn't that. You didn't have no ankles. She didn't, she didn't have no hands for me. Like, and it's just like, where? Where? Where did this come from? And you out of all people, for her to come at you, knowing how much you Friend, took care of her. Friends, that's what makes me mad. I how don't much talk about business, but you know what I did for that girl. And what did I ask for in return? Okay, you can't pay your rent. Cool, no issues. And that's the only reason I. Okay, I, your I room is a mess. You here. left it a mess. Cool, I'm gonna have the maids come clean it up because I got money. <laughs> and it's like, how did this work? Like, I need to know. Like, I want to go live with her. Like, I really want to ask. Like, so did production say like you get a check every time you fall on your ass, or like how did this? Because we were there. She did not expect to get body slammed by Susan. Like, she was really terrified. When me and her fought in the confessional, I split, you know, I split her whole face. Her shit was split. Was it not, Brie? Did I not split her shit? But listen to this. You saw when we was in the front room, when we was, oh, no, you didn't see it because who, 
Was it me and you that just fought? No, it wasn't me and you that just fought. No. When me and her was when me and her was fighting in the front room with the glass room with it where we smoked. Were you there? Did you see it? No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't there. This bitch waited for security. You can ask Seven was there. And I think Stay was there too. This bitch literally waited for security to come in to push me. And then I and she just got beat up the whole time. It's like it's like you could run that to someone else, but like we were there. But you can't lie to us. We were there. Seven pressured you the whole time, my nigga. You wanted no smoke. Like, and every time it was smoke in the house, her ass cried. And it Your really made you mad because there. the shit right. that they didn't air on the season really would show her really, like... Talking about, oh, I just don't want to wait. Go home. What is that? Like, like, we were there. Like, I understand you got a new body, but you the same bitch. Okay? I understand that body got a little little. But you're the same bitch. Like, and I'm not even on no fat shaming shit because your your body has nothing to do with your personality. I'm on the personality. No, you're fake as her, she's trying to act like a new bitch. It's not even body shaming her, but I'm trying Just to Just because you got a new body doesn't like, mean you have a new personality. You're that's fake what as I'm fuck. saying. You're and you're not going to sit here and lie on me and make me look like a bad person. Talk about, oh, the reason why I left Vegas is because Kenny told... No, the reason why you left Vegas is because you couldn't afford your bills. So let's really talk about it. She was just better off at saying like, "Am I wrong? Please, please let them know that she didn't leave Vegas because I bullied her with candy." No, it had nothing to do with the candy situation. Brie got tired of taking care of a grown ass woman. Eventually, you'll get tired of carrying somebody. So, knowing Brie' personality, once she got tired of taking care of the bitch, it started becoming tension, and Kiana felt the tension, so she got her ass on. So, as like, you should. And she ran back home to her mama. It really makes me mad how she's trying to turn me into the bad guy when I did nothing but good shit for this bitch. This bitch, after the show, had no bookings. I got hella bookings. And what I do? Oh, well, Kiki's living with me, so you guys should book her, too. She'll come out. I got her all her bookings, her photo shoots, everything. I'm not going to lie. When she moved back to Charlotte, she started doing shit on her own, which good for her, as you should. But when you were in Vegas, everything you did was because of me. You did not book one thing by yourself. So stop fucking playing with my name. And everything I did for you was out of love. I didn't ask you for nothing in return. I didn't care about no money. I didn't care about you reimbursed. I didn't care about none of that shit. I'm doing this shit because I genuinely fuck with you, bitch, and I want to see you do good. But then my thing is, like, why is this, like, why is this coming now? Like, I'm confused. Like, now, out of all times, like. But what makes me mad is I really could have aired this bitch out years ago. But I don't give a fuck, so I didn't. But now you want to talk shit, so cool, let's talk shit. And the only reason why I'm even entertaining her is because she is coming at you crazy, and I do, I, and I did witness the whole relationship. Because you know everything, and this bitch, you're not going to lie on it. Then it's, the fact that she even said she was the reason why me and you are lit. When she say that? Under the comments, on the fucking, on the post. So she feel like, first off, I'm not just lit for beating her ass. Bitch, I didn't get no point. She today. said the reason why I got lit off Candy is because of her. First of all, I didn't pull up on Candy because she was instigating shit. I pulled up on Candy because she was lying. I'm a real ass bitch. If I talk shit about you, I'll t- let you know. Bitch, I said you're a bum and you're not making no money. I'm going to need you to keep it pushing. And I did, and that's why you left. I said I need you to get a job, and she felt like she was too good to work a bartending job, to work a hostess job at one of these top steak houses where the hostess make $500 a week, like, or like they can make three hundred dollars a night off tips. She was too good for that because she was on a TV show. But how are you too good when you're not making no money? How are you too good when you're having to ask your mom for rent money? I don't get it. I never called you broke, but you felt like the shoe fit, so you called it on yourself. So you just exposed yourself. I never called her broke. Did I say that? Did I say she was broke? No, you never said that. Oh, okay. So if the shoe fits, wear it, bitch. Because what I say, I could really expose this bitch and make her look dumb as fuck, but I'm not like that, so I wasn't going to do it. But since she wants to take it there, let's take it there. We can be putty, too. That's why I just don't understand. Hey, you want to make people look like the bad guy, so then let's really say what's up. Because I'm just trying to understand what production paid you, because she was in that motherfucking fiending for cup of noodles and red Bulls. But that's what... So... I'm Friend, just trying to when get I that. came in the house and made it rain, who was the only girl that collected the money? Her. Oh, okay. what she do? Go buy some cup of noodles and Red Bull. Oh, okay. Like, when I made it rain, who was the only girl that collected the money? Her. 
Her ass hopped up out her fucking sleep. I heard skin. Period. Period. It's just so sad because this shit is old. We grown as fuck. Nobody And it's like we will dawn I really was gonna let her live and make it past this shit, but she brought this on herself. And y'all be so I wasn't be even like exposed. Why y'all talking about this? Y'all grown like first off, we human. So if we live in our life and somebody got some You wanna know sense. why I'm talking about it? Is because I really gave a fuck about this bitch and I really had love for her and gave her a lot of opportunities out of the genuine kindness of my heart and this bitch just tried to shit on me. So that's why. Because I don't play that shit. I have a big heart, and when you, when I feel like you hurt me, I'm gonna hurt you back because you got me fucked up. Facts. Everything I did was out of the kindness of my heart. I didn't want nothing in return. This bitch tried it. They said friend in jail. If, if friend really in jail, maybe that's why she tripping. Cause you know she don't play about her friends. <laughs> they. But, <laughs> but after Fran said the Trump shit, didn't Kiki cut Fran off? Suppose like at this point, I don't know what Kiki like. I don't know. It's given very much like I don't know what's wrong with the girl. It's just out of nowhere. It's like where out of nowhere, girl? Because I just talked to you. I just checked on you when your dad passed. Like, where is this coming from? Because it was never no smoke. So, um, you got some tea too. Oh, drop that tea. Drop that. Tea. Who, who got BGC tea? tea? BGC tea. Drop that T, okay? Cause I got some T too, but I ain't trying to be. Look, we're being messy tonight at this point. At this point, I'm just airing it out because I've been a real good girl. And you know me, I'm a real bitch. So if it's about me, let it be known. Where's my vape? <laughs> it's probably some tea she's trying to spill, but y'all, Brie really got like real TT. You feel me? She really just not trying to spill it all. She trying. She to said the video I have is childish. Did you see the video? It is but childish. Them, but them panties Your room that, is childish, bitch. Them panties that was pull-ups is childish. Them pull-ups that she had on was childish. I'm trying to see what they're saying. I wasn't even reading the comments. Where's my vape? I'm stressed. What's the tea, y'all? Give me, give me the tea, okay? She can't. <laughs> BGC tea messy. They gonna say that shit if I leave. You know they messy. They just trying to screen record shit, and I'm mad because I can't find my fucking weight. Yeah, I was being petty talking about Kiki ankles, but I was also laughing it off because it's a joke. Like, it's just like, girl. Because like, we really didn't want to say how we really feel because the bitch would look dumb as fuck. Yeah, I just wasn't trying to be messy, so I was trying to be cordial and let it be friendly, but I had to let it be known, like, sis, we all know you lying. Like, don't be lying on production. Like, production wasn't paying people to get their ass kicked. We literally got paid the same check every week. Even for the reunion, we got the same thing. But sis, why would they pay you when you didn't really get no camera time? Unless you was laid on your back. Like, you wasn't the star. Like, you didn't really get no but camera But you want to know what makes me mad is how she said she got hands and literally she got beat up by four of us. All different races, all different <laughs> sizes. Like, you had the opportunity with them, like, finish him. And you and couldn't. Is she really lucky that the sh like the the show was edited the way it was because she was really getting mixed up? It really helped more. her look better than what she really looked. Yeah, because I heard downstairs you really mixed her ass up, and she really got. We was fighting for a minute in that confessional. Like security really couldn't stand her ass. Security really let me tussle with her ass. Friend, she didn't even. She pushed me, and she didn't push me until security walked in, and that's why I said you waited until security walked in. Da -da -da. Like what? Mm -hmm. That shit is just, wild. Like, I just don't understand. You know what's what crazy is when people lie and they start to lie so much that they start to believe it. That's wild to me. Like she said, I have a mental disorder. That's a mental disorder. And then to be like, she talked about me so bad that I and then I cried. Like you always cry. You always cry. You cry. You fucking cry, baby. You always cry. Like what the fuck? You could sneeze by her and she gonna fucking cry. But you put your hands so loose. I got like, are you a cry baby of or a like, grown ass woman? It's giving it's giving very much. I put you on photo shoots. I put you on bookings. I put you on endorsements. And after all the money I put you on, you still couldn't pay your rent. Which was only five hundred dollars a month. If you can't afford five hundred dollars a month, what are you really doing? After you was on a TV show. Then oh. 
I really, I really, really, really want to post and then let's video, see this, but I let's can't see, even let's do see it to her. Because why she was doing all that posting and all that shit about Shay and trying to help me. Okay, yeah, it seemed genuine at first, but then like, where was her when it was time to buy flowers? When we sent flowers to the and who bought the flower arrangements? And Only me still and you. Posting her to this day. Only me and you went in on that big ass flower arrangement and sent it to her family. Like, where was it when it was time? To go to the to her uh her birthday shit her family like you ain't made no step at she's all. Close. But she's she's right over her. You didn't send shit. You it's didn't just try to do shit. You didn't reach out to no family. You ain't do shit. But you was doing all that posting like you was really trying to help. Now I'm a I'm a use your fake followers and your fake numbers because anybody who posted this brings more awareness. To it's getting the word out to more people. Period. Yeah, that's why I let this shit slide. But the fact that she's really trying to make us look like the bad guy is what's fucking me up. Then, like you lit, bitch. You got and her followers. little homeboy that's being her little peanut gallery. Little does he know when she lived with me and he came to cook for us at the house. This bitch was talking so much shit about this man that it made me feel like I didn't even want him in my house the way she was talking about him. She, she, she fake. She but we're not going to talk about that. It's bothering me. I even got to even talk about Baby Bop again. Like, I really That's want That's what Baby I'm saying. Bop like, because... I was over how she did me because at the end of the day, I didn't do anything for no clout, no payback, no nothing. I really fucked with this girl out of, like, the kindness of my heart. You know that. Key, what did she ever do for me? I told you. But you didn't want to listen to you. It was, it was Key just being a bitch. I told you. I said she lived with you. Uh-uh, bitch. Don't let that. Don't let that. Nope, don't let that spirit in your house. That's and that's what I get for being nice. And then look what happened. You saw how she left the room. That was all her negative energy. Mm-hmm. How you got broke-ass, half-ass cigarette butts behind your mattress? Crab legs behind your mattress. Crab legs. Like, cigar like, butts. Cigar like, guts behind your mattress. Crab legs is not going to cover up that pamper pussy. It's not going to cover crab up legs, that pamper the, pussy. Sleeping with uh, crab legs don't cover up pamper pussy it don't it, it still smell it's still there it still needs to be and i really out. didn't want to do this sir because i'm not an internet and I, bully and let me but take the, that back i'm know you know still listen we're not internet bullies but the way that she just came for me that's a wrap like you got me fucked up because i really i really looked out for you bitch listen everybody want to say bully baby bully, bully, bully. you can't bully a bitch who spoke up first i'm tired of that shit period like, this bully word get thrown around too much it's two grown-ass bitches arguing that's called an argument ain't nobody bullying she spoke up and we not even arguing we speaking facts at this point because she wants to speak on us so let's let's talk about the, what's really what really happened and it's I just wild to me, like, and pussy. it's so crazy that she's so good at telling lies that she starts to believe them herself yeah, it's that's giving, a, it's that's giving a, that's very a mental much, disorder. She wants to talk about mental disorder. That's a mental disorder. It's giving very much I need a hug. And it's like, if you need a hug, just say that. That Kiki. part. If you left out, Kiki, just say that. If you want to be posted to, just say that. You could have hit I did not up. want to do this to her, but at the end of the day, you brought this on yourself. Because like, my last live, I was going to let you make it, but then you want to talk all this extra shit. So let's do it. Talking about ain't nobody tried you in real life. Because I thought you was getting skinny and enjoying life. Like, I thought we were all grown. I didn't know it was a need to press you. I didn't know it was a need to have no beef with you for what? We're grown. This was four years ago. We talking about shit four years ago. Four and years the fact ago. that on that post, I didn't even say no. I put a cat because she was lying her ass off. And then she wants to call me out her name. Call me out my name. Then talking about some bad girl boxer. Girl, we not giving you a check. Period. You don't even deserve a check. I, I can't. We I know you need it, but you're not going to get it. I'm not about to get on here and be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to fight you when I see girl. I'm, I'm not. not. You. I'm, I'm not, not going to lie. I'm not a good boxer. I'm not going to do it. If you want to pull up and we can meet in the streets, say less. I'm not even street fighting you, girl, because you, you you're know. right, because they're not paying me enough and I'm not giving you no clout. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing that. If Courtney is lame for what? I'm going to fight a bitch because she got beat up four years ago. I don't have nothing to prove. If you ever see me, after I already beat you up, is that is it is what it is. I'm not fighting a bitch that I already fought. She might feel like she's bad because she slapped Sayora and got away with it, but that's it's the like, only one up she got slapping a bitch on the bed sitting down. It's given very much. Oh, you just want to run your mouth. Like, it just makes me mad because I really fuck with this bitch and I really try to give her an opportunity and she really just tried to shit on me.
But see, that's why I wish I would have been mature enough in the house. Instead of be like fighting everybody, I should have just let it, like eventually everybody corny true colors was gonna come out. So I should that let part it be corny, but that shit was bad. And I was there to fight. And it's crazy because people try to judge it off the show, but they don't know what happens after the show, so they're kind of like lost. But th- it's just different. And I, now I regret all them times I talked Seven out of dragging her. I, I and now I'm mad that I was mad at Susan because I wish Susan were. And they're going to try to give you props. Talk about, I got body slammed so you could, so you, first off, she didn't even know you, girl. You didn't get body slammed so we can get there. You didn't even know about a brief. You got body slammed because you was running your mouth, bitch. And that's what made me even That's what she tried to so say. The only people. reason why you were there is because of me. And then you got people thinking I was bullying Sayora when I was really fighting her because I felt bad that you got laid on your back. So I felt bad. Like, all right, my friend got beat up. Let, let me, let the girl who got her, got her beat up get beat up. And then look look what you do. Go sleep in the bed with the bitch. That's what I knew she was weird then. Like, oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, what? When, um, when Susan ended up body slamming Bree, I mean Bree, when Susie <laughs> When she ended up body slamming, not Katie, Susie. Susie. When she ended up high, when she ended up body slamming Kiki, I felt bad because they were started that shit. So that's what caused me and say were first fight because I felt like you got my friend beat up. And that's what was kind of fucked up because when I came in the house, I didn't know the dynamic of everything. But see, that's what I was trying to kind of give you a rundown. But then, of course, the way they edited, it, they made it seem like I'm trying to be messy and I'm trying to make you choose up. When it wasn't that, I'm just trying to give you the rundown of what's going on in the house, bitch, and you do what you want to do. I'm not going to lie, though. When I came, it did seem a little messy, but that's because of the way that it was. I feel like when they brought... when Okay, so I came in early as fuck, like 7 a.m. You you guys weren't awake yet. I think... Who did I talk to first? No, you guys were awake. Yeah, but the we weren't out of bed yet. Me and Shay yeah, was Kiki was too busy picking up the money I threw. Facts. And we was mad, like, bitch, you came and threw it in the wrong room, bitch. <laughs> and, and I didn't know that you guys went out the night before and already had beef. Facts. I didn't know that. So when I came in, shit was just weird. So the way that they edited it, they made it look way more weird. Facts. And it's Which just like, what I knew oh, they no. needed to do that, but that, I knew, I knew why they edited me the way that they did. You feel me? No, they did everything very scientific <laughs> it is it's tv it, and people still be so caught up on this and it's so mad like and we were there the whole time like it was six weeks and you guys only saw an hour for you guys saw seven hours of shit and we were literally filming 24 hours a day seven days a week for six weeks so stop playing like it was a lot of shit they didn't air but it's just like <laughs> But Kiki, it lucky is. they didn't air them pants. And I'm not even mad about the show. Like, what makes me mad about it is the aftermath of the show. How I really, you know, you saw. I was looking out for this girl, and you're like, why are you doing that? You guys weren't even that cool in the house, da da da. Because I like giving bitches opportunities. Like, everybody looks one way on TV, but I feel like everybody deserves a second chance, and I try to give it to her, and she proved me wrong. <laughs> She's weird. So at this point, it is. I know. She's and how are you gonna talk about your room wasn't dirty when you we already saw your panties? Like, yeah. And, and then you left those panties. I didn't go through her stuff. I didn't go through her clothes. She left those panties on the floor in the room. Like I had to step over those panties. So you left them out in the open. Did they I show the see- panties on the season or no? No, they didn't show the panties because I knew production. They didn't want to embarrass her. So. They didn't show the panty part, but it's like, I didn't even go through your stuff. You left them dirty ass panties out. So you left them panties out while we were filming a national television show around bitches who don't like you. So I can imagine what you did in the privacy of your own home. They didn't air a lot of shot shit. Remember when me and Sayora was on a, a video call and we fell through the phone booth and broke the plexiglass? Oh yeah, they definitely should have showed that because that shit was funny as fuck. Because it was like, funny as fuck. We broke the whole plexiglass of the phone booth. That was that was it was some it was some good shit, but it she was loved you that time. But, but it's just like I don't know. Then you got so there's no way my hands would be lethal and somebody to split my face, and I don't want no revenge. Like I split your. It's face. no man. It's no way my hands are lethal and I lost every fight. And you were really like she was really mad. Like that wasn't no fake. Like she was crying. She was going. She it was real tantrums in that house. Like listen, what part? What what parts of the show were scripted? None of it. None of it. It was all real. They might have instigated a little bit when we were in our um interviews. 
Yeah, they instigated the interviews, but that was all They instigated the interviews, but they, none of it was scripted. So all the shit you see her doing was real. I don't know what she's talking about. Production paid her extra to do any... No. Cap. Cap. Because production cheap as fuck. They're not paying nobody extra to do nothing. <laughs> that was not... And then, I don't know what she... her. She was definitely on some shit at the reunion because she couldn't sit still. She was all jittery. She wouldn't let nobody talk. It was very much giving coke. Period. And I'm, I'm gonna say what I'm gonna say. Like, I'm tired of biting my tongue because bitches get to say what they want to say. It was giving very much hot. Okay? The bitch came. She wouldn't sit down. She was trying to fight everybody. Like, she was just too all over the place. That's why I kept walking off because I was over that shit. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Friend, I was sitting in the back for like six hours before they even brought me on stage. At this point, I was drunk, hungover, reincarnated, and like, I don't know. It was just weird. Like, uh, it just hurts me because you know what I did for this girl. You did. And that's why people want to be like, why you responded? Like, first off, Brie could tell y'all. I didn't because I'm hurt. I didn't even want to get on this live and address this. But the fact that I know how hurt Brie is because you she know really, I'm hurt because I did everything for her out of the kindness of my heart. She really did. But I told you, don't fuck with that bitch. And you, but you have a good heart. And sometimes you got to learn on your own. But she just weird. Like, I don't know. It's just word. crazy to me that she called me mentally ill and you're lying so much that you're starting to believe your lies. Like, we were. That's like, wild. My, crazy, my thing is, like, don't lie to me like I wasn't there. Like, lie to these fans, but don't sit up here and lie like we were not there. Like, you put us on. Like, we were there. Like, <laughs> yeah, she has the right to. Y'all talking about why Brie talking about it, Bob? You hurt because she has the right to. She spoke up first. I can like Brie just start talking shit about this girl. She was minding her own motherfucking business, and that girl start bumping. Is her seven in here? Is she? If you are, hey seven. Well, yeah. If seven in here, she needs to fucking join. <laughs> <laughs> justice for the Shayla, period. We not stopping until she got justice. I wish she was up. No, tomorrow we need to go live. Just going to add her in live. Like, let's just squash this shit. Like, bro. What's up? What's, what, let's what's be adults. Gucci? What's Gucci? What's, what's really, what's tea? Because if, if you're going through something, you need some help. If this is the way you're crying out for it. If you miss We're here friend, for you. We are here for you. But don't, don't try to degrade us. Nah, I'm not. Bree might be there, but I'm not here for you. I'm okay. not there. I learned my lesson. I learned I'm my lesson. I'm not at the, the point in my life where I'm there for nobody that I don't. You right. You me. right. You're right. I learned my lesson the and first time. And who don't fuck with me, so I'm not there for you. But I learned my I learned my lesson the first time. You're right. Yeah. It's fool me like once, shame on you. Fool me twice, not gonna happen. Period. That shit. I don't know. I'm not going. Ooh, seven. If you ain't here, don't play, bitch. <laughs> Born. She weird. It's just like what? Then she really trying to box me. But this—that's what this is about. A check, like I'm not giving. You're not gonna get it. Th what? Listen, tonight is the last time I speak about it. But I just had to clear the air because I'm not weird. I did every. I did a lot for this girl. That's why I'm hurt. So that's why I'm speaking about it. Because I really feel like I raised this bitch. Yeah, it's fucked up when your kids disrespect you. Right, you are my son. Should I be mad my kid disrespected me too? Look, I brought you in this world, I'll take you out. I'll take you out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not about to play with you. You out of line. Uh, Br Br no, Kiki, listen. Kiki can't fight herself. The kiki ass been a shadow box. But listen, pause. <laughs> this is listen. Right, what I'm gonna say right now is how we know this bitch is lying. On the show, when we walked in the house and I was gonna fight Fran, did Kiki say she was gonna jump me or not? Yeah, she definitely said that. And then when you checked her about it, what'd she say? I didn't say that. I didn't say nothing about jumping anybody because I said no. We ain't gonna do no jumping in here. We ain't gonna. Do you no came out the bathroom downstairs saying that shit. And she made it seem like I just said that out of nowhere. Like, she's literally delusional. Delusional. <laughs> mm. 
That's all we had to say right there. Like, that's it. Like, she's real delusional. You guys saw it on the show. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even know if really you guys saw jail, it on the show. If Fran really in jail, send me the links. Like, DMs no, send me the links in my DM. Because I, I need tea, okay? <laughs> Was it for a Trump rally or no? <laughs> is she locked up? It is on national TV. You guys can see the bitch being fake on TV. Tune in. Go watch our episodes. We need some views. I'm just annoyed that it's four years later. What do you when doing? friend? When did we film? 2017? And I'm only, and I only even went in and said the shit that I said because at this point you're poking, like you're picking, because, like privately we've been straight. I put out DMs like we've been Gucci. I checked on her when her dad passed. Like we ain't been. And playing. even after, listen, even after she left and she left the way she left, I was still cool with her checking in on her after her dad died. I made sure she was cool. You haven't reached out to me not one time. It's not gonna be a one way street. I already funded your life. I shouldn't have to check in on you too. The, re the the least you could do is like, hey, you good? Damn, everyone talking about friend in jail. They said for drug charges. Yeah, it's giving very much coke. It's giving very much Molly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Just probably getting the rest of the life rage. All right, let's go. Let's rock. conquer anything that I'm put up against. It's Gary giving very much rage vibes. It's getting very much right after that. But I want to talk to my mom. I just want to talk to my mom. I need to talk to my mom. Because mm -hmm. I'm just not used to this kind of environment and these type of things. <laughs> Anyways, we're not going to give her no more attention. <laughs> This shit is just wild. Like this, this shit is wild. <laughs> Go Trump. <laughs> it's just so comical. That like I can't even do anything but laugh right you now. You have like, to laugh. You have, you have to, to laugh. laugh. That's why they because it's just so crazy. You have to laugh. Something. They think because we speak them on something, we're mad. It's like I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm hurt. I'm not gonna lie, I'm hurt. And see, I'm not I mad hurt. or hurt or disappointed. I'm just confused. But like, you didn't go through what I went no, through. No, fact, her. which is why you I understand got on why live. I'm hurt. Yeah, fact, which is why I got on live with you because it's the same way I was. And feel. the fact that I even feel I don't really have emotions like that. So the fact that I'm really hurt about this bitch, you guys, you guys gotta know, I really put effort into this shit. Cause me and Kiki weren't even best friends on the show like that. But y'all know, because we went live, we did photo shoots, y'all know she lived with me after the fact. Yep. And did you guys ever see her doing anything? No. So how do you think the bills got paid? With my stripper ass. And then gonna talk about how how she gonna argue with a bitch that sell pussy. First off, every person that's a stripper, everybody just wanna throw that out there, like, but and they were saying that shit six years ago. Like that's just tired. Susan said that shit. Like that's just old and tired. Moving on. But you shouldn't even talk about pussy when you be wearing pampers or was wearing pampers. I don't know what state the coochie in now. I can only speak to what I knew about the coochie and the coochie was real pamperish when we were. But the fact that's the only thing you can say about me, bitch. <laughs> like. Show them bills that I paid. Show show them the shows that I booked for you. Show them the collaborations I booked for you. Show them the photo shoots I paid for you to do with me. Show them your, my clothes that you wore. <laughs> oh, okay. We're not going to go there. Show them all my shit that you flexed with. Oh, okay. We're not even going to do that. Show them the money I put in your pocket out of the kindness of my heart. That's why I'm hurt. Cause I'm not gonna lie, at one point I really fucked with this bitch. Even though me and her weren't best friends in the house, I really fucked with this bitch. To the point where I let her stay with me for basically free. I didn't get there yet, but for basically free. And was putting her on money and didn't ask her for a dollar. 
I wasn't like, hey, I booked you this photo shoot or I booked you this this hosting gig and they're going to pay you $1,000 to come host in the city. I'll go with you and turn up, break me off 20%. I never asked you for no cut. I went with you and came out of pocket to go with you to support you because I got you it booked. <laughs> the fuck? Yep. That's what makes me mad. And she's trying to act like she's so innocent. And I really was loyal to loyal where there's not a loyal bone in your body. Cause even the guy that's sticking up for you, you weren't even loyal to him. You called him the help because he was coming and cooking for us. You called him the help. That would never come out of my mouth because I'm humble and I don't look down on nobody. Cause I've been there. Yeah. Hi, Indica. Hi, Matt Bree. Twice she cool as fucking about her bread. Hey, you know I'm not gonna lie on no bitch because I'm real as fuck. Period. Indica cool as fuck. She's come to a couple of my events. That's a loyal ass bitch. Y'all want to talk about loyalty? That's a loyal ass bitch. Yes, Key. Sure. Key. Me and Key didn't get along. Hardcore where we put our hands on each other and now look at us because we're grown and we're real and we don't lie and it ain't All no admit, instagram we can picture. admit i whipped your ass you whipped my ass we both got the best of each other and it is what and it is, is what like, it is and so we're grown. grown it is what it is like we i put we both was, we both was petty and we've grown period like it just is we've grown is. to where we can talk to each other and laugh at that shit like bitch what the fuck was we doing like what like this fuck? shit going viral we be cracking up like we cracking really, up talking about we got to reenact that shit we really be like it's just like this shit is just so old that everybody and it's sad be able when to somebody back didn't and grow with us like we got a straggler you're way behind she's way like we've all we've she was all better gone. off coming out saying like you know what Back then, yeah, I couldn't fight worth shit. Or you know what? I was too big. But I got these hands now, so who wants to see me? Let's box. I was too big. If you were trying to get the angels. boxing check, that's all you had to do, but don't lie. Or I was I was young, but my knees was old. A bitch could I, you know, it's so I many, fucking hate you. There's so many things that she could have said instead of coming out with what she said. Like I That was not it. it. Okay, I was extra as fuck. I did a little too much. You know, it was getting real ghetto. Like, we all got to sit back and reflect on ourselves. So the fact that she was Because home, we all was acting crazy during the show. We was in the house for six weeks with no nothing. So we all was going crazy. They wouldn't even tell us when we were going home. So we all was going crazy. So we all did dumb shit. And we all, all of us except for one, owned up to, well, two, maybe. She should have just got it. Ankle BBL. She needed some fat transferred to the ankles at the time. It's not even the body shaming shit. Like I don't even care about. No, that. I'm not her. body shaming her body. I'm saying them ankles. That's why she kept getting beat the fuck up. Them ankles was little. They was they was shaky. It I just hold don't like up. the way her mouth acting right now. What like you there? getting real bold. It couldn't hold up what was there. Like that's why. That's the real reason that she lost and that's the only reason i'm bringing it up it's not even to body shame her it's to because i'm proud like i even complimented her on her weight loss like i'm proud of you like you look good i told her she oh that was the tequila i mean her head her head's still the same size and the body small no her. i told her her body looks good keep it up da, 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 da. like yeah. i nothing but even after you try to shut on me whatever because i'm not weird like i'm proud of you but but it's like let's keep it. I've never called her out her name. So the fact that she called me out my name after everything I've done, that was it. Now now let's what's up? And I really want to post this video, but I'm not gonna do it. Do it. Don't do that. Do it. Don't do that. No, at this point, do it because she asked for it. She asked for it. You right. I'm not gonna lie. You right. And she wants to talk about what video? You're childish. I literally all you did was put two emojis. And it got that big of a response. You put two emojis. You didn't even say, you didn't even type out, bitch, you cap. You put a cap. You put a cap. And that bitch went ham, you know? Maybe she just don't like the color blue. Or maybe Call she me wanted a snake a ass bitch. If I was a snake ass bitch, I would have aired out your laundry, literally, your dirty laundry, years ago. You still got that video? You know I got it. Yeah, I 
I mean, I would say, listen, I, I would say put one in the chamber. You feel me? But listen, so I tried to do her a favor. She blocked me on this account. So I wrote <laughs> her from my backup page. And I was like, look, you guys are getting very disrespectful. I never called you out your name. Tread lightly because I have this video. Everybody needs to go to her page and 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 put caps and put blue Everybody caps put all over her shit. Caps all over her shit. Spam her shit. If y'all fuck with us and y'all the real MVP, caps. turn Don't up. Spam that shit. Blue cap. Turn up. Turn up. That if y'all the real MVP, turn up. Life. Go turn her. I don't even feel like we should give her that cloud because that's gonna make her impressions go up. Uh, all them fake followers, she needs some impressions. You right. All them fake followers. You like, right. You know you're, you, you know, know you buy your followers when you turn there, them likes off. One day I sat there and I thought about it like, how do she have more followers than me? Even though I had to start my page, I'm still like, how she got more followers than me? And then I went and looked at her comments and her like, that's why she turned her likes off. Like, you have no you know, interactions, no impressions. Just like you cap what you talk, you cap with your followers, you cap with your lifestyle. I'm not one of those ones. You couldn't tell if I was rich or broke by looking at my Instagram. Right. Cause I don't give a fuck. I, I'm to y'all. I'm broke. Good. Don't ask me for shit. I wish they had a pamper. Nah. Don't y'all don't 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 say the pamper pussy thing. Don't do that. Okay. I wish they had a diaper emoji. <laughs> I wish they, I'm like, do they have a diaper emoji? <laughs> she wanna play, so it's like, let's play. No, let's play. Game on. Cause I was I was nice for too long. At this point, we all need to do. She needs. They said tag her pamper 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 pamper. Pamper. <laughs> If y'all do that, we love you. But that's petty. <laughs> she needs an endorsement at this point. It's giving real, and it's so. And you know what? It's so sad because I was really proud of us. Because I will say, out of like most of the bad girl seasons, I'm not like a big fan. But like, I don't know too many seasons coming together the way we did. Like people, who even I'm not gonna lie. Me and you were the biggest, and they're like, "Why'd you guys not fight it?" The reunion because we're grown and we could talk that shit out like adults. And a lot of that but shit just be circumstantial, like being locked up, not able to smoke. Plus, we needed to. And they don't get it. Show. They don't get it. We were in our house for six weeks with no TV, no phone, no music, no internet, barely any communication with the people we love because they would cut the phones off during turmoil, like. They don't get it. It was like jail. We were literally in there going. Literally. So obviously it's just going to pop off. But after the fact, when we have time to get back into our shit, we're like, you know what? That shit was petty as fuck. What the fuck? And they hate to see us make up, but at the end of the day, we're grown. Like, that shit's petty as fuck. <laughs> but when people act like children, we're going to treat them like children. They say they really don't keep this page putting cap. Period. Keep them As cap. they should. As you should. As you should put the crab emoji. <laughs> put the what emoji? The crab. <laughs> they no! still put the crab emoji. Okay, no, y'all. We gotta draw a line somewhere. No. Cause she won't get the crab emoji until we post the video. <laughs> but if she if she come with smoke, shit, post that shit and fuck what they gotta say about it. Like at the end of the day, this ain't TV shit. This real shit. For me, it's listen, TV you shit. saw the you saw the video of her room. I don't even gotta post it because if, if it gets there, I'll post it, but you saw the video. Her fucking room looked like she was a backyard again, my nigga. And guess who had to pay to have it clean when they moved out? You. Her room was okay. given very much backyard. Listen, clean. when I moved out, I had my whole house clean. Guess how much it cost just to, for her room to be clean? 700 It was that bad. They charged me 700 to clean her room. I'm done with them putting the crab emojis. Exactly. There's no way she got that many followers and getting 50 likes. Like, there's no way. There's no that way. Shit Not the backyard again. Yeah, she she's a backyard again. It was given very much outside. She's a spare room again. It was given very much. Old McDonald had a farm, and on his farm he had a dirty bitch who don't clean her room. E i e i o. I'm not about to play with you. <laughs> Oh, I was With a crab leg, really. what song crab is leg it? Here, here, crab, there, crab everywhere, crab leg. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's the audacity for me. Yo, you literally gotta laugh at this 
shit. Like it don't be no. And I'm so glad that I'm. And that's why I can't life. even be mad no more because at this point she's really delusional. So but that's why like, I just can't... to make you laugh about it because it don't even be worked up on having to fight no bitch or nothing. It just be like. And I'm not going to fight her. It's because just play. I did. You want to play? Let's play, bitch. Because I can talk shit. Like we can talk shit. You feel me? And I've been holding shit in for a long time. I really ain't got to pop shit. I be having to hold what I gotta say in. But we can go. We can go. I've been holding it in. No, and and it was your house. It was your like you know her outside the TV. That's why I said they making it. And that's what they're talking about. How do you know what production did? Because she lived with me. I knew everything. Yeah, like this is y'all for Brie. This is not TV shit. This real life shit. She really fucked with this girl. She really. You feel me? Like just how like had this girl's back. Yeah. Just like when, me, people, when the fans was cool, when like, the fans wasn't fucking with her, I fucked with her, and people were mad at me for fucking with her. But guess what? I didn't fold. We're here, so what are we gonna do? I got you. Go stay where you need to go. Get yourself comfortable. I got a crib. You can stay with me in Vegas, so you don't gotta go live back at your mom's place. Because at the time, she was living with her mom, just like Fran. Then she wants to talk about how loyal she was, how she had friends back, but didn't you end up folding on friends? She doesn't know what loyal is. She feel like because she cried, because she cried about you, she was loyal. No. Not even for a her, bit. For y'all to be as close as it was, me and you talked more than you and her. Me and you have put each other up on more money and more opportunities than her. Period. Like, me and you were the ones who didn't get along the most in the house. And we've done more together than anyone. Facts. Because we're grown. Mm -hmm. And we can put this shit to the side and be like, you know what, bitch? It's more money to make than it is beef. So what's up? By the way, stay tuned because our clothing line dropping soon. Period. Merch coming out. <laughs> Merch coming out. Real quick. And we got another shirt. Just because you're a stripper, you thought you was going to get wifey, did it? Psych. And then we going to make shirts that say production paid me to do it. Period. Production um, paid, yeah, me, production to paid me to do Shirt's it. Shirts dropping soon, okay? Production paid me to do it. Period. It's coming out soon. And no, bitch, you don't get no coin off of it. None. Not even a, not even 1%. <laughs> production. Because at the end of the day, this is back rent that you owe me, bitch. That's going to be my answer. Everything. You know what? I got on live. Production paid me to do it. Fuck it. Production, production paid, paid me. me. Production paid me to do it. Period. I'm trying to figure out what kind of check they cut because I know she didn't get. I don't know if they gave her EBT. And then she's talking about it's sad that she has to do this to promote baddies. I don't know if they paid her in Snickers. I don't know if that's why Tanisha baddies was back there. Baddies where? Who's promoting baddies? If y'all only knew. Like, that's just wild to me. She's like, it's sad that she feels like she needs to do this to promote baddies or to try to get on baddies. You know what they gonna say. First off, they acting like you said some shit. We was minding our own business. I wasn't. I said some shit. I put a I put an emoji because you're sitting there lying your fucking ass off. But but this is my thing. Okay, right. Okay, this is what I'm confused about. The fans feel like they have the right to comment on people that they've never met, never seen, know nothing about. But then when someone who actually knows the person interacted with the person and the person is talking about comments. Then it's a problem. I'm confused as why y'all can say shit, but when it's about us, we can't say shit. Like, I'm confused. Like, we human just like y'all. And especially if some shit is about us. And we... that's why I said something, because I was hurt after everything I did for this girl. That shit weird. It's just weird to me. Like, all of y'all, if, if I made a post about y'all, or if anybody y'all know made a post about y'all in y'all regular life, y'all would be on that shit popping shit. Y'all would say something. So what is the difference when y'all comment on shit that y'all don't even know about? Y'all don't even know us. But listen, how many years ago did I say how this bitch did me and I wanted to say shit, but I didn't because I wanted her to have her livelihood. And that was real proud of you. I'm not going to do this shit because I'm not a bully. I'm not going to do no internet shit. Like, I really could expose this bitch because I'm hurt, but I'm not going to do that. But she wants to be petty, so you're going to bring it out of me. Where Kiki live? Where's she at right now? I think Charlotte. Man, you somewhere like Charlotte. Can't nobody even pull up on you. What's in Charlotte? It's like two gas stations out there. Like, 
you're not even like in a city city where somebody gonna pull up like it's just like what are we talking about you out in the country barefoot somewhere what are we like you on a farm somewhere in not the Charlotte. country bumpkin you on a farm somewhere in charlotte not the country bumpkin. starting starting fights it's just crazy because you really had nothing going on until you come and stayed with me. Every photo shoot you did while you was in Vegas was because of me. Every hosting gig you had when you was in Vegas was because of me. Every endorsement, I'm not gonna lie, she maybe got like two or three endorsement deals by herself for like wigs and shit because she was broken begging for free hair. So she might have done that by herself. But everything else after that was because of me. Yep. Like stop playing with me. Stop. And you know what makes me really mad? Is they're really trying to like go off the friendship, how you're an escort, you're not a stripper. To that shit is so old and tired. It's like like that shit's so old and tired. Is Roly Poly in here? No, they saying Kiki the real Roly Poly snack meal. No, because Roly Poly snack meals is lit. <laughs> Kiki's not. I fuck with Roly Poly snack meals. That's at a least, real bitch. At least she was really uh, running at down. At least she real. She was really running down on bitches. Kiki was and just Roly Poly. Kiki was just Roly Poly. No snack, no meals. <laughs> okay. <laughs> don't no pass go or collect two hundred dollars. She was just Roly Poly. No Not the don't collect no pass. Okay. No snack, no meal. It's definitely no snack. <laughs> <laughs> Except for the one she hid behind her mattress in her room. <laughs> Kiki was giving Kiki the real Tina Turner, okay? That's why Tina Turner wrote rolling down the river. Cause she was giving real doo 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 eating all the punches. Doo 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 doo. Ah! I'm dead. I'm not about to play with you. They talk about the crab legs. The crab legs that I paid for was behind the bed. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to just think about this live every time I get mad, and I'm just going to Because now I'm in a better mood. I'm just going to laugh because you can't do nothing but laugh. When you because she really thought she was going to make us feel some type of way. You can't make us feel some type of way when you lying. We know the truth, so we can't. And not only that, like, misery loves company. And when I was a miserable bitch... I used to be miserable like that, but bitch, I'm not miserable no more, bitch. I'm in a real happy place, and I don't got time to come back in the dark with you, bitch. No. Because why? Because we're not worried about nobody else until this shit happens. Oh, bitch, I'm not going back in the dark, okay? So I'm I done. Know. Like, I work too hard. We doing good. We very, we, matter of fact, go watch our, t go watch our TikTok videos. Yeah, I guess. Because that bitch, <laughs> that bitch did not help me pay for counseling. You feel me? And I, 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 I spent a lot of money in counseling. To get where I'm at, bitch. So unless you're gonna give me some money back to, to for me to go back into the sunken place, bitch. Leave Not me alone. diaper booty. It's a diaper emoji. Oh my god. It is a diaper emoji. Ah! Oh god, it's a green diaper emoji. It looks like hazardous waste. She was hiding them crabs. Y'all know the drill. <laughs> She was hiding them crab but legs. How she do you, in the middle of the night. But that's how you know you smooth because how can you forget that crab legs is under your bed? Like, how do you not smell crab legs? How? And it wasn't even it wasn't even like a regular crab tray. It was like a hot and juicy crab tray with like the whole sauce. <laughs> Cause that wasn't the only thing in that room hot and juicy. That's why. It's it's giving very much oh, crab. It's giving very much chlamydia vibes. It's giving very much boiled. And it made me mad that her peanut gallery really tried to come for me too. Like I I really feel bad for him because he's sticking up for her and he doesn't even know what she was saying about him. Well, no one does, but it's it's the same thing. Just like when you were sticking up for her, you're right. And then and then I knew certain shit that she was saying and shit. But by that time, I had just forgot. And then I was just and it's just on, really making me mad that she's trying to make us look like the bad guys. And I was working on not being a messy bitch, so I was just like, I knew you would. Friend, when out. do I ever go on live and air out <laughs> people's business? 
never. And they we, know. We don't do that. Anybody, we don't care. any of my followers that's on here know I don't even speak on BBC. Like, I my even followers know that too. Yeah, I won't even mention girl. Unless it's but she took it with. there. So if you want to take it there, then we can go there. It takes a lot to get us there, but the fact that she really disrespected me when I really funded this bitch's whole life pisses me off. And this is a time like, oh. They said it's giving homeless coochie. I miss Shay. Rest in peace. Because it's a lot of shit that Shay knows. I would call Shay like, bitch, did she say? Because she stayed. I I miss her because she will really be right here with us. Like, get her key. (laughs) Get her facts. Because, you know, damn well. 